Dogood and Montiat Eco Medical Foundation has become a household name in Nigeria, especially in Isalan. On Saturday, 22nd of June 2024, Dogood and Montiat Eco Medical Foundation set a new record as she put a medical team together for the good health of Ugboha people. For Do Good and Montiat Eco Medical Train to assess Ugboha through Kinapa stronghold in this land, they need God Almighty. Welcome to Adava Primary School in Uboha of Edo State, Nigeria. Seeing the patient sitting, one can tell that Do Good and Montiat Eco Medical Foundation has become an alternative to the dividend of democracy. Vigilantes were also on ground. How will those in rural area know of the current corella outbreak if not informed? So, the exercise opened with a lecture on corella by Dr. Irene Irino Thank you. Uh, I be Dr. Akidino. Uh, I be woman doctor, I be. Yes. Uh, uh, now I'm saying only woman are the treat though, because I be woman. Yes. Uh, uh, then we get one association where all the women doctors we did that association for the Edo State. Now maybe they are president for the whole of Edo State. Yes. So as for that say if we want to do this, I say no, we must join, we must come. Even if we they work every day, I did not tire today. But I say no, I never come before her before I will come. I will say I must go every day for instance, not the only coach and who the eleven I married now. So we go down they hear something where they call cholera. If you don't they hear that maybe the people they talk out. You don't come on this period where we 
for Lagos, people don't they die because of this cholera. Sometimes, you know, the only way they go talk, you not go know. They be they say that they bad food. This one, this one. But now, waiting for even help ourselves. So that cholera, now from water, eh? Now they say they get them. Don't say water, now they say they do plenty things. And uh, through our belly, and waiting we bring come out, now one person to another person, if they get them. So, if we say make we wait for government, we they wait for government for everything. We must look after ourselves by ourselves. If we wait for government, we'll see them. Mm. Like this outreach now, not be government, Abby. Now people will say no, they won't call this thing for their people now. So, so we go still help ourselves. So this cholera thing. <laughs> yeah? The person if they talk, say they vomit. Just they just make they vomit. Belay they pay now. If they go toilet, if they go toilet, if they go toilet. If person go toilet, go toilet. If you go toilet you three times, you go weak now. Nah. Nah. You go do weak. And maybe you call the vomit. So if you say not drink water to help wait till you they come out. And at that one I they keep it away. How will go be preventer? Prevention is better than yeah. prevention is cheaper than yeah. you go save money if you prevent that and say you they go hospital. They go reach hospital because they said drip. Then they do free drip. You go pay. So the important thing I say, ah, you go to the toilet. What is supposed to be? Wash your hands. Now rainy season. You put container for outside. Yes. Then go enter. Obviously. Yes. Carry soda. And also when you go carry on, you go so Say ah, this part is so good. Soda. Wash hands. You or your children, they eh, hey, you don't wash your hands. Before you touch anything, you go wash your hands. You go toilet. Yes, you don't want them to be go. Everything will get to the toilet. Abby, you finish not so go, you go wash the toilet. But if all those people they go push, they go back up and go to the toilet, because that from there. Person where get cholera go. Another person around there. Don't cry enter house. You want to wash hands. I don't say when we go for and come back to the back. You go wash your hands. You go outside. You don't shake people. Hey! Oh why? Hey, by this this one, this one. You don't, you don't know where that person carry hands. We know. We don't know. So before you carry, say you want to put something, or you don't come back. Wash hands. If Papa, Mama, you don't say most of you now, you know, young young people, all of them don't go to the new room, they have to go to the new So you need to, and I say old people, old people, they know how to take care of themselves. You don't like dead seeds. You don't say that some of you now, just cry this morning. And I don't say that so on a beer, I tell people, say, people is not a dead seed. Because when we grow up, as you wake up on morning, you go sweep from your house. Mm -hmm. Now they throw away their tennis house. I say that one is very, very good. So that washing of hands very important before you eat any. Sometimes if you reach one place now, like here now, maybe they go share something. You go one thing. You don't, but you don't shake people finish oh. You don't carry your food. You lose hands. You don't know what you don't eat. Spare the hand, but so that's the most day very careful. If they give you water, you must wash hands first before I eat. You go out, you come back, wash hands. Wash hand. Container day outside. So I beg, make we try. Eh? Prevention <coughs> is better than cure. Yeah. This cholera and a serious matter. We don't want to make we get problem for and for here. Luckily, we never get plenty for it. Don't say, but you know, say, people, our people always call Lagos and they go Lagos and they come back and they, Abi? It's very easy to say, wait till they Lagos go reach here now. Not be so. Yeah. Or person wait till they, 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 they go reach here. Very easy. Yeah. Not be so. Yeah. So make we make sure, say, we pro if we they do like that, even if it come. As we don't use soap, wash our hand. We don't already stop her. You don't go spread. Eh? Then, also, I don't say that rainy season. Maybe they, and also, what happened? Maybe they cover our water with oh, one drink. Food, you cook food, cover lamb. That one, they protect from plenty, plenty things. The fly away go, go toilet back here, say, you don't come land on top food where you open. You don't already carry the disease from there, come your food. You cook, cover the food. Not be so. Eh, uh -huh. wash our hands. No, we they keep our environment clean, oh. No. Simple, simple things like that, then they help us. If we they sun, if we fry that, remember we careful for this rat, oh. Yeah, one of us know about Lassa fever, eh? Eh, eh. 
we feel prevent them too. Then we careful. Say food when we there, it's what they leave our open. We finish the garry, we cover rat. So that rats no go breach there. We spend something when we carry them. Cover them. Make rats. But garry, when I know that fire and I they say they dry garry. Not before outside do. Eh? You try garry for us, apart from last year, go stroll, go say, ah, see three feet, make I chop. Sound sa go still enter. He made the tea go still enter. Now, fire and I, we know, say, they say they dry garry. If you dry garry for fire, now little cool lamp somewhere for inside house, you quickly pack up. You know, go leave a ladder for night because of that. Not be so. Uh, hey. As soon as just all of you now, day like this, one say, ah, you now go see they healthy. Even when we go for this outfit, you know, say, not be serious sickness because. Now they take care of yourself. Who day home they eat fresh food? What's that? Just not be like sister. Say give me food today. Say I can fresh. I go with one pumpkin. Carry gadi here. Carry yam. I don't see food chop. Not be so. We not here. So I beg. You know they wash our hands well. You know they keep our everywhere where we they stay clean. Eh? So that the money where our children go send give us. We not use the money till they buy mercy. You know. See how they see today. They see tomorrow. Well, you that say they look fine, they eat fresh, eh? Now so, as we now come, oh, we pray say every sickness or anything where people now come, as we see you now, God go still join, heal you now in Jesus' name. Amen. We pray for the person where gather also, we bring the money. Mercy not cheap at all, oh. We bring the money, we say you want to do this thing. May God continue to bless them. May God bless the family. Amen. We say the first way come here. We go go back safely in Jesus' name. Yeah. Well, Professionalism was at its peak in the various departments of Do Good and Montiat Eco Free Medical Outreach.
Smooth exercise, names were written on arrival, and tax with numbers were issued. More than 200 persons has been attended to, and the crowd is still overwhelming. Good morning, my son. How are you? God bless you too. And what's your name? My name is uh, Mrs. Ahigbe Veronica. Okay. Uh, we saw you going through this process and again at the point of collecting egg glass. I don't know how much they collected from you. They, did, they didn't collect anything from me. I didn't pay cobble. You were able to see the nurses? I saw them. The daughters as well? Yes. And the eye glass they gave to you? Yes, they gave me eye glass. This is the eye. You checking it just now with uh, yes. a paper. Yes. How is the reading ability now? Uh, I'm, I'm happy. I was happy when I wore it. I was able to see some things which I didn't see before. Which I cannot see before. So, yes. what do you have to say to the donor of this project? The donor of this project, I will thank him. God will bless him. He will not lack. He will live long to achieve his goals in life. Uh, God, will, God will bless him. Seriously. I know he's not a family man. He's a reverend father. He will not lack in the God's vineyard. Amen. God will not reject him. God will not abandon him. Amen. Yes. Uh, let me quickly correct a notion. The uh, elder brother to Reverend Father is a family, my son. Uh, yes, a family. Uh, God will bless him and his family. Uh -huh. They will not suffer. And uh, God will bless them beyond their expectations. That is my blessing to them.
like the Bablika Jacob's dream, there was a full traffic of the treated going and those to be treated coming.
Good afternoon. Good afternoon. 
Thank what you. What's your name? My name is Ene. Ene, mm. welcome. Thank you, you came for the treatment? Yes. So, have they given you a number? No, I'm just, I came before the cloud. They had said the doctor is not arrived, so I went back home. So, you came very early before? Uh, you didn't take number then? No, 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 no. Have you seen the person giving number? No, that I didn't, just normal people. Okay, yeah. I choose to stop you. Why are you going back when you have not seen the doctor? The cloud is too much now. I cannot wait. I have something doing. Be patient. Uh, do good and Mutual Deco Medical Foundation came with a lot of drugs, nurses and doctors. I know people are waiting the kind of pain. Sure. People are receiving the Sure. But then they will get to your turn. Okay. Uh, just do well. Meet the other brother there. Get your number. They are about uh, 200 or something. Maybe 300. I don't know. But just get number. They are very fast. Okay? And then thank you. Thank you. Know, good health is worth. Thank you. If you are not healthy, what you want to do? Will you do it? No. So stand by. I hope after treatment, I'll come and interview again. <laughs> thank, thank you. Eh? Thank you. God bless you. Yes. Afternoon, my son. What's your name? My name is uh, Mrs. Obosai Regina. Okay, I saw you making a photo see doctor just now mm. in the midst of the crowd. I hope it was easy. Uh, not easy, but it's, it's not too bad. Uh, uh, uh. Uh -huh. So, you are taking your drugs now? Uh, they are doing it now. Okay. Are they charging you? No. Even the doctor, did they charge you? At all. Mm. Hey, so, thank you to him. God will continue to, uh, to bless him abundantly. Uh, so, the level when she, he did before will be higher, higher in Jesus' name for him. That is our prayer in Jesus' name. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Do? Yeah, I am a high priest, a Nibokun. Honorable Soboya Ugbo Akidon Okoje the second. Okay, thanks. Meeting your chief, Honorable Soboya. We saw you going through the process of uh, treatment. Have yeah. you seen the doctor? Yes, I have seen the doctor already. Okay, and again, uh, they've given you drugs. Yes, they are giving me drugs. From the announcement made for her, they said the uh, treatment is free. Did they collect any money from you? At all, treatment is free. Thank God. So, what do you have to say to the donor? Uh, we pray that uh, God will give him long life and prosperity. Whenever he needs something from God, God will provide for him. It will never lack anything in this life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much. God bless you. Amen. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, bye bye.
Good afternoon, how are you? I'm by name Rosalind, sister Rosalind Yeri. Of course, yes. How is the process? The process is very nice. Okay, okay. Uh, we know that we uh, have a lot of crowd here. Yes. I hope you had a good trip. Yes. Uh, super simple. Are they collecting any type of money from you? They did not because when they were passing day for yesterday and yesterday, they were even saying that nobody should bring money, that they don't need any money. Everything is free. Uh -huh. I always, I always be praying for the man that God will, God will help him. God will take absolute control over his life and the children. He will live long to declare the glory of God. That's my prayer for him. He will live long because already God has already blessed him. My name is John Enne. Okay, John Enne. That's mm. a name, No, Enne is Benue mm. Thank you. Okay, so I was in. I remember the previous interview we had. With mm, the stress is too, is too much, but uh, I'm glad they have attended to me. But at least you you left people here now. I I see left. I still meet people and I've still gone to left people here. Okay, then uh, they give you the drugs. They are giving the drugs. They have turned to me. Okay, then. Uh, so. Okay, okay, okay. No, you can keep them. That's great. They have. I think I'll show you all now. No, don't worry. Don't okay. show me all. How, how much you can pay them? I don't pay them. Oh, this is out of uh, God do and government work oh, and the owner of the anybody in short, anybody I invited there, uh, let that person may may have the day may the days belong to that person. That person will never lack. Uh boss children will never lack. A family family will progress. And if you continue to do good things. That is what you are praying for Nigeria, not PDP, APCU. Uh, uh, yeah. See, in name now do good. Okay, in name now do good. Do good. Do good. Do good. Do good. And do good. Good. And good. Good. Be sure. Okay, I'm just hearing the name for the and first so time. The yeah, well, this okay, okay. Me, I'm a stranger, Sha. And you welcome. Okay. You know, you know, no try. Uh, you, you try, you try. God bless you. you try. Thank you too. Well, thank you. Thank you. So let me test you. Uh, you know, for that water, we attend to it later. Okay, okay.
the man that uh, invited the whole community to come and take treatment and he cared for them and in fact it was wonderful like myself talking to you now when i met with the doctor i dis i i complain of my problem to him to him and in fact he prescribed the whole dr drugs for me and the the one they don't have when they give me the other one they say if i have also they should add that omeprazo into it that means uh, Echo, the man that invited, the very man that invited people for this uh, program, he really make it that uh, he doesn't want anybody to seek in his own community. And I thank God so much that uh, uh, he he loved himself and he loved his whole community also. And uh, my prayer to him is that uh, the Almighty God will plant his feet on the higher ground. And uh, more than that, uh, the Lord will establish him and uh, added more grace to his life. In fact, it is wonderful. If I'm telling you, um, I'm telling you that uh, the whole boy are here, not few. We have uh, Ekebo, we have Ineme, we have Uzogbo, we have Idumi Asele, we have Otokimi, we have Idegu, we have uh, many, none of them that are not here now. In fact, all the whole women, that are working with walking stick and the, the men and every one of them, the blind and every one of them, they are here and they, they all receive drugs from the doctor for the for this um, for this program of today. In fact, it is wonderful for me and I believe not only me. This is how old men, old women, this is how they are blessing the man for what he have come to do in our community. And in fact, it was, it is wonderful. We are still praying again and again that God will plant his feet on his higher ground. But let's see. Yeah. Are you from the crowd? How do you reach the number? Like, how many does it take? Ooh, the numbers? When I, when I have told you, no, no single Uboha person that remain at home. Uboha plenty. If I say there are more than 600, there are more than the 1,000. I'm just uh, exaggerating. I said all who are men, all who are women, who are youth, girls, they are here. In fact, it's wonderful. Yeah, good afternoon. Okay, I am uh, Apostle Joseph Akaria. Thank you very much. Uh, no, I brought my father for treatment. Yes, Mr. Matthew Akaria Izoku. Yes. All right, tell us about you, boy, about yourself, about your dad. You're already here for interviews, so next talk, tell us about the things around. Okay, this is Uboha. Uboha is a peaceful place, and uh, I'm here. Though I don't reside here, but I grew up from here. I brought my father here. Uh, he was attended to by the uh, foundation. He was attended to, he was giving drugs, and uh, he has gone home because... Uh, it's actually aged. They didn't My, pay for the drugs? No, 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 no. Everything is free. From beginning to the end is free. And they gave him quality drugs. Yeah. I believe it will help him. Though they still said they should come over to uh, Uromi to see them for further checkup and all of that. So, yeah. That's right. Yes. Yes. No, 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 no. It's not just only about this place. You know, my father was sick. He has been with me for the past 22 days. He came to my house on the first day of this month. He has been with me. So I took him to the hospital before. This is not just, this is just an arm of the foundation. 
Uh -huh. So when I took him to St. Camillo's Hospital, the money for the drugs and so many things we did there, it was free. He was giving drugs free. As courtesy of Dubu Course, Yes, yes, of this foundation. But I know they place some persons on a free medical treatment. For it, life. Yes. So that, means that is one of the beneficiaries. Of yes. Life. He's one of the beneficiaries of uh, those people they place on free treatment for life. Okay, you that have uh, passed your dad for 21 days, you know what it means to, to take up an elderly person. What do you have to say to this uh, foundation? I. Before I say anything to this foundation, it's not easy. Because when I brought my father to Uromi, I knew how he was. He was looking very old. The first day he came, in fact, his old age was pronounced by the reason of the health challenge and all of that. But after like a week, after like seven, eight days of taking the drugs he got from the hospital, I saw improvements. He was strong. Before he could not, if, he, if he's walking, it would be difficult for him to walk from here to there. But after administering these drugs, he was walking fine. He, he walked from the all the way from that place to this place just now, all by himself without nobody helping him. So, and I want to also say that this is a good uh, thing that uh, Dr. Chris Echo and the foundation are doing. And uh, this is the best thing you can do for human being because one of the primary or the biggest problem of mine is heads most especially those of us that are living in this side of the world head challenge there is virtually nobody in this place in this community in fact in nigeria let me use nigeria because i'm in nigeria that has no head issue either small or big you understand so seeing to the uh heads good head of the people of the land i think is a is a one of the greatest thing you can do for human being because they say head is wealth if you are healthy you will make money if you are healthy you'll be able to go about you, the daily activities and all of that but when you are not healthy everything about you is down once the head of a man is down everything about that person is down so it's my prayer that god will continue to strengthen them god will continue to give them grace wherever they are getting this money from to sponsor this uh, foundation god will continue to bless that place and open it up money will keep coming money will not be a problem in this foundation whatever money can do whatever god can do will not be a problem to them it's my prayer that god will continue to strengthen him even as he is making sure that people have good heads he will not have issue with his own health in the name of jesus the hand of god will be heavy upon him the hand of god will be placed upon him he did not just stop by giving my father drugs he gave my father drugs and also sent money for me to feed him he sent money he sent money good money for me to take care of him so that's why today it the thing was easy for me because if he had not come to my rescue to the load would have been upon me he did not just help my father he also helped me. You understand? He easy my labor. He easy my work. Yeah. See, in fact, uh, this money allowed the two hundred chairs that we have grand initially they were occupied with us. So we are bringing more chairs. Looking at the crowd, how do you wait to the number for now? I am the one that booked the chairs. I booked two hundred and fifty before. The chair guy called me. I had not come. Then he said, by six people were already seated. The whole place were filled up. We booked three canopies before. I have to make order for another, I think 140 chairs, 150 chairs, and one more canopy to add to it. Even at that, it was still not enough. In fact, if you look at the canopy, you discover that people are going, people are coming. It's as if the old, the old village is sick. <laughs> but we thank God for this uh, benevolent uh, act of. Uh, uh, uh brother and i want uh, yes i want to thank father julius echo also who because there are some persons whether being you father reverend father or pastors that you will give money to do this kind of thing they will siphon the money i'm telling you but this man actually did more than what napoleon could do i'm telling you his time his effort and all of that thank you so much god bless you thank you
Good afternoon, doctor. Good afternoon. So, may we know your name and uh, your qualifications? Okay, I'm Dr. Irene Irene Osiakideno. Um, I'm a consultant at the Ira Specialist Teaching Hospital. Um, I'm also the president of the Medical Women Association of Nigeria, Edu State. Um, I'm also a member of the Uru Midalsichan Health Board. Um, so, those are part of the things <laughs> that, that, that I have. Yeah. Earlier today, at the opening of this uh, opening of this event, we saw you giving lectures to the people mm -hmm. in Corella and the outbreak. Oh, yeah. Then, uh, being a consultant, I know many patients they came uh, to see you. Yeah. Uh, how was the exercise? We well, just just okay. talk about it. Yes, thank you. I think this is um, this is a great thing to do. You know, like I said, kudos to persons who sponsored this. Um, outreach to Ugboha. This is my first time coming to Ugboha. Um, and uh, really we talked about the cholera outbreak, how to prevent it because it's um, the mortality is increasing in places like Lagos. And I'm sure we may even have some cases in Edo State that are not being reported. But we believe prevention is better and cheaper than cure. So we had that health talk about healthy living and also we talked about cholera and also about Lassa fever prevention. And we've seen quite a number. We've seen close to 300 or more persons elderly young children and then we've been able to give them medication cover the lots the, the eye section is still very busy where people are having glasses and other medications for eye ailments there are a few that we have seen and then um, thankful to the sponsors we've said oh they need to be seen in the hospital and they would present at st camillo's and this outreach is also supposed to going to cover their treatment so it's a major thing you know we're not just ending here but for those few who we know will need more care the um the foundation has been able to provide that support for them and this is what we are proud of doing um as the president of medical women of nigeria it's really nice to partner with ngos and uh, philanthropists because we understand that the government cannot cater for the health of everybody you know this is such a beautiful thing that that has been brought to this community, you know, and our motto is healing with the love of a mother. That is why even if it's a Saturday when we know we should be resting, we've decided to come and be part of it. Myself and my colleagues have come to be part of this. And I think, you know, the smiles of people's faces when they go back, just so how much they have benefited from this outreach. Okay, thank you. You talk about uh, supporting NGOs like this mm. to reach uh, other persons. The government cannot do it alone. Mm. From today's uh, exercise, mm. what impact do you think that this uh, free medical outreach had on the community? Oh, I, I think it's massive. You know, it's really massive. You know, we've got to see because the community, you know, a lot of people we saw. I would say about 70% are elderly. Lots of them hypertensives. You know, and can't really afford the medication. And here you are with you know real quality medication being made available for them you know so that improves their their health and their their well-being you know and then um, it's uh, we we encourage more of this to come not to the cities but like in these rural areas hospitals are quite a distance from them so we have brought health care to them and we hope that it will be a continuum so for it to be a continuous exercise then uh, partners are needed yes partners are needed and uh, I would say Medical Women of Nigeria, I do state, for which I'm the president, is really willing to provide that our uh, technical skill, our medical experience, virtually free of charge, because we know you really can't pay us. But because we understand that your vision is providing this care for people, we are willing to partner with us to, to lend that service with such organizations. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And really, Father Echo, who has actually been the one on ground, has uh, really done a lot. He's been with us throughout from the beginning and he ensured that we saw every patient. Nobody was turned back, you know. And I think uh, it's, it's a great one. He's, he's been on ground and the other persons in his team to actually make things um, 
um, feasible and i think the community also you know you get to some community and you do not get a good welcome yes. but i think this community is really nice they're appreciative of what um is being brought here they've relatively been orderly you know and then um, we believe that you know this impact will be one that they will benefit and tell their children of how much this has made an impact in their lives yes. thank you so much thank you yeah. thank, thank you very much thank you, thank you. Thank you. I want to know you by name and your profession. Uh, my name is Dr. Ayumirishi um, Esther. Um, I'm a currently resident at um, Ira Specialist Teaching Hospital and happen to be a member of the Medical Women Association of Nigeria. Um, I believe you just interviewed my president, so I'm here. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for having me. That is great. So, can you just tell us uh, by a general view of today's exercise? Wow, today was really intense and exciting. It was really um, amazing seeing people leave the consultation, feeling that they've been heard and their health concerns have been listened to, and also getting drugs for them has been such an experience. It's totally a humanitarian experience because after a long week of work, coming back um, on Saturday to work, it's it's I, I feel it's a great honor actually. And although I'm tired, I'm happy. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Do you have any message? Uh, yeah. Donors? yeah, wait, I, I want to honestly thank all our donors that made this possible. Honestly, your contributions can never be forgotten. You prolong the lives of so many. We saw very critical cases coming to us and I'm very happy that um, you got to partner with us. Well, and I hope that you continue to partner with us more. Um, and I'm so excited to be a member of the Medical Women As of As Association of Nigeria because this is such um, a pivotal time in our lives. And being a young woman in medicine is such a great opportunity. Thank you so much, our sponsors. God bless you. Thank you, God bless you. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> I'm Reverend Father Dr. Julius Ehikioya Eko, the head coordinator of the Catholic Diocese of Uromi and the administrator of the Dugud and Mutiat Eco Medical Foundation. The Dugud and Mutiat Eco Medical Foundation was founded in 2021 by Dugud Aswilime Ebozele Eko and their wife. Adeyinka Eko. The foundation got registered with the Corporate Affairs Commission in the year 2022. And since then, the foundation has carried on with the objective and aim of its establishment, namely to bring quality health care to the indigent persons in the society and to provide desk, test book to indigent students, particularly at the primary school level. The foundation, over time, before the last outreach that we went to at Ugboha, has attended to over a thousand persons. And the outreach at Ugboha was very massive. It opened our eyes to the reality that many are dying in the rural communities because of their inability to assess care and urgently also. The Dugood and Mutiat Eco Medical Foundation is only one single body we need a lot of partners to be able to effectively deploy the resources to enable us reach out to as many persons as possible collaboration is key partnership is key but we know we are not the only organizations or body responsible for the care as many persons as possible organizations that can partner with us will be welcome both local national and international so the foundation will be able to do more in reaching out to the indigent persons in the society the Uboha outreach for example 
we attended to over 400 persons. And we had to close it, not because the person stopped coming, but because the medical personnel were tired. We walked from morning to evening, and because of the insecurity also in the terrain, we had to leave very early, so we'll be able to get home safe. If we had more hands, we had more resources, perhaps we would have been able to attend to even greater number of persons within the same time frame. That outreach opened my eyes to the reality that our government, they need to do more because people are giving up hope on government. Individuals and corporate bodies are what people look up to now. And the Dugu Damutiate Co Medical Foundation come readily at hand. For instance, the year 2023, we had two massive outreach at St. Camillus Catholic Hospital in partnership and then went for some other outreaches in other rural areas. This year, we have had this outreach now twice and we intend to have another one by September and perhaps sometime in December. So that will make it four times like every quarter of the year. But if the resources are there with collaboration from donor agencies and organizations, we might be able to do it by uh, twice, once in two months, and then be able to cover more space and bring free medical care to the persons and villages that we, we go to. The foundation is open for partnership. As the administrator, I am here, I reside at Uromi, and I'm also the administrator of the St. Camillus Catholic Hospital and College of Nursing Sciences, opposite uh, UBA Bank along Mission Road. And should you want to reach me telephonically, my number is 080 3078 5243. You can reach me on that number. We can partner and do business together so more persons can be saved because there are many avoidable deaths in Nigeria, particularly in the rural areas because they don't have access to care. Thank you very much. God bless you. Words were not enough for them to express their gratitude. Egwen na noyi opokun ha asise oya sirike ebe amro bo pa e o ha mi emi de bo cho favor ti o so ma yo so ba na don emi re o so ba se o kun yan e de jo de ha ya o be ke do re ke o kun o be jo de ha ya o gwe o so ba se o hun o kun yan emi se o ha mi o gbe dai dai bu kana o to na ga ato gai na ma bi bo bo ki ka sine bi ayo ma yo so no ba re pa e mo ko ha me I don't know what to do, but I don't know what to do. 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 I don't The word cannot be heard in one day, so returning back to base becomes a necessity. Montiat Eco Medical Foundation.
We say may the good Lord bless you. Amen.